Welcome to Road to Glory Youth Edition Career Mode with All Limit Athletics. Welcome to episode 77. We are in season 6 and we are going to start off with a game in the league against Spurs. And we're playing them away, so it's going to be one of those tough away games. Um, hopefully, we can get a pointer or three. They are in, <laughs> they're sitting first in the league though. Um, yeah, so this is not gonna be an easy, but there are three points ahead of us, so. Oh. I mean, a draw away against them would be pretty good. I will take that. Um, I don't know if I can actually believe in, in a win. Um, I wouldn't say no to a win though, um, but to be realistic, I think a draw against them would have been like. That would have been great because they are such a strong team. We're playing in our blue kit and they are with a the classic white and, and bluish type of kit. And uh, we have full stamina on on our plays. We have no injuries, so we're going with the first team. You can see here Amundsen in goal, Livingstone, Smith, Webb, and Stone in the defense line. We got Matson, Clayton, central defensive midfielders. In front of them we have Saunders, Adwama on the left wing, we got Rikes on the right wing, we got Pratt up on top, and we got a bench filled with uh, perfect stamina players. So we have what we you know we have what we what we need to, to actually make uh, you know to get a point from this game. So let's just hope the boys do it. Come on boys, go, go, go. This should be something to savor. The best defense in the league up against the freest scoring team in the league. Who will come out on top? Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Perfect weather, perfect stadium. This is the scene here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur in London. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur and they face Oldham Athletic. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. It's usually quite hard to predict the outcome of a game like this. On the one hand, you have the hosts with their watertight defence. On the other, the visitors who score goals for Funley. Well, Derek, the longer this superb defence can frustrate this maverick strike force, the better. Then holes may open up at the other end. Well, that's a moment he would like to airbrush from history. He's thrown it straight to the opposition. And he's through here. Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win possession. Throw in here. He's in here. On his own with only the keeper to beat. And still he's missed it. In store for them on the break. What can he do from here? In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Well, a terrific counter-attack, but a disappointing finish. Well, how... Real danger. And Harry Kane ready to pounce. And the keeper... ...for you soon on EA TV. It's Oldham Athletic taking on Leicester City. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. Cheer about for a while, have they, Derek? They need a goal here. What a vital intervention. Wang. And space to attack. 
real chance. Oh, it might be. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. The opening goal of the game then. Lo Celso. Tottenham really controlling possession. Oh, maybe the equaliser. That's a go. And a goal here for Tottenham, who have evened things up. Gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Mauro Arambari. Kane. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Oh, that was a terrific... Still pushing for a winner. Oh, good vision. He squandered the opportunity at such an important... And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Must take the lead here. Able defending, but can they keep it out? And cleared away. Kane. Here's Lo Celso. Steven Bergwijn. Sandro Tonali. Kubo. Oh, can they nudge in front late on here? And that will do it. The final whistle has sounded. A back and forth sort of game. And a draw in the end. Lee, your take. Yeah, stalemate, Derek. But that doesn't tell the full story. I'm sure both managers will be saying to their team, we could have gone and won that. The positive spin on it, one point gained, not two points lost. So we managed to get a draw um, away against Spurs, which is amazing. And I skipped everything, so we couldn't see any stats, but we had a one all draw, and uh, I'll take it. Uh, they lost the league, though, so they're down to second place, and we have fallen down to fourth. Uh, Manchester City passed us, but yeah, um, it's, not, it's expected. Um, we've been receiving some offers for Wyatt, and he has, you know, he's been sold too. He's, a, he's one of our wingers that never got any game time. Um, we have an international friendly coming up. The beautiful nation of Bolivia is going to play friendly against Poland. I will sim it though. We're going to have a couple of, of friendlies uh, and I don't really see any reason for me to play them. Uh, but we lost three goals to one. Uh, and I forgot to, to pick the team so it's not a team with uh, the region players that I am. So I have to do that all over. <laughs> because I forgot to, yeah, that's what it is, but it's all right. We are now going to focus on the next, see, we're playing Italy with the beautiful nation of Bolivia away. Um, <clears throat> not an easy game, but we'll sim it and see how we can pull this one up. And we have a, a one all draw. Nieto, our olden player scores, that's interested and next up we have Leicester home at the boundary park um, another one of these solid teams we want to win we want to keep up we're sitting fourth in the league and Leicester is sitting seventh so it's gonna be tough we all know that but we're going for three points that's we have to because we want to keep up uh, top five because we want to play european football probably top four because we want to play champions league football next season so we're we're aiming for top four even though the fifth wouldn't be i, I won't cry if I, I end up fifth in the league and uh, the board wants us to end up uh, in the middle so a fifth place would be great but a fourth third second or first would be even better so we're playing in our bluish kits and they are in their all whites and uh, they have a very beautiful away kit to be honest um, and we are going with our first team as you can see here no injuries no stamina losses everyone is just doing beautiful 
So let's hope we can get three points in this one. Come on, boy. Let's go. The man of the moment, in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts, will he add more today on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Oldham Athletic facing Leicester City. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I always get a buzz from being here. The players will feel the same, I'm sure. Fast start, always a good idea to impose yourself on the game straight from the off. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And so the battle commences. In dynamic, want the ball, demand the ball, run at the fullback, commit him, then end product, deliver. Terrific block there. Can they stop it going in? Looking away patiently, looking for an opening. Oh, and current convert. Is passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. That's a fairly easy save. Everything. Well, it's not been a great first half of football as far as he's concerned. He seemed a little bit sluggish to me, Derek. Easy for the back line to pick him up. Needs more movement. It's a weighted pass. Is it going to be? Well, he did his job defensively. Teammate in support. Not to be in terms of the finish. The Premier League coming your way. It's Leicester City taking on Brighton. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there, both teams. Jeff. Partey, and now Chan, will he finish? Save, but still a chance. Here's Patrick Sheik. It's not lost on them, what a... and the final whistle at the end of the game, the two sides cannot be separated. But what will the home fans be feeling about this performance, Lee? Well, Derek, that scoreline is evidence enough to suggest you can have a really entertaining nil-nil draw. I really enjoyed that game. We'd all like to see goals flying in, and we normally do with this lot, but still, some great stuff out there today. So we have a 0-0 zero -zero draw. And uh, you can see we had four shots, but we only landed one. They had three shots landed three. We could not really, we had a possession and we did, you know, we had, yeah, we couldn't really pull it together. The problem for us was that their defense was too, too good for us. We, we couldn't get any clear chances to score. Uh, at the same time, our defense played really well and they didn't score. So it's, you know, a zero zero draw, it's, I think it's fair, you know? They weren't better than us, and we were definitely not better than them. So a draw was, you know, that that's all right. I'll take that. Uh, next up, we have Champions League football coming in. We can see that we had a little bruised shoulder on Rikes, so he's gonna, he's not gonna play the game against uh, Olympic Lyon. We are sitting first in that group, which is strange to be honest. Uh, it's a Champions League group, but we have eight points, and Lyon has eight points, and then we have Dortmund with five so if we draw today we will have yeah we have to draw we can't lose today because then Dortmund or Lyon is probably gonna pass us well Dortmund, yeah Lyon would definitely pass us but we could end up third if, if we actually draw we I mean lose sorry so we have to go for at least a point at least a point this is going to be one tough finishing of this group. This is such an important game. We're playing them home at the Boundary Park too. We, we did manage to get a one all draw away. So let's see if we can manage to, to get a draw at least at home. 
It shouldn't be impossible, but it's a tough team and they were really strong in the second half of the game last time we played. We can see that Rikes is now out of the team for now uh, with his injury and Wang will go into the right wing instead. Hopefully he can do well. So come on boys, let's get at least a point against Lyon. Go time. It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned, it's live on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It's Oldham Athletic up against Olympic Lyonnais. Yeah, thanks, Derek. The host can claim their spot in the knockout stages tonight. Affect the things that are in your control. Focus on the job in hand. That's what they need to concentrate on. We're surely in for a good game. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. An early goal in the game, just what they were hoping to produce. One nil then. Merritt, you have to say that. And if it stays like this, the manager will be in for a pay rise. The header, but far too straight to worry the keeper. Yeah, meat and drink for a goalkeeper. Of get go as they keep the ball. Calvert-Lewin, Golovin. That's someone to play it to. It's got to be! Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done! Even Steven won a piece on this match. Marcus Lewis. Contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, he's been involved in most of the positive things in that first half, and obviously getting that goal has given his team a huge boost for this second half. And the keeper got there. Corner kick played in. Promising sequence. Electing to cross into the centre. I must hold them athletic facing Crystal Palace. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. The cross is on. Llorente. Dangerous looking attack. Might go ahead. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider attack well it's really important the players try and recognize this noise in the ground and use that to get an equalizer they could pick out a teammate and will it be the leveler and a goal the equalizer superb entertainment Once again, the sides are level. That's a kaleidoscope of shifting emotion. Now the delivery, the fist of the goalkeeper. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Long way out this. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, the teams are level, and every corner counts at this juncture. He has it. Mohamed Ihataren. Jorginho Wijnaldum. And now Dominic Carbert Lewin. 
And that will be all. The final whistle. Time is still on their side. Still other opportunities to clench their place in the knockout stages, Lee. Well, it's better than being out. They've still got another chance. They'll be disappointed, obviously, but still game to go. I'm sure they'll be fine. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, didn't the lad play well? All aspects of his game was bang on today and that vital goal as well. So we managed to get a two-all draw home at the Boundary Park versus Olympic Lyon, which is... It's not bad. I have to say that it's not bad at all. We have a draw and that means that Dortmund did not have a chance to pass us even if they won they will still be a point behind so that's good before you know we're, we're gonna play the last round in the Champions League against uh, Basel so we have it in our own hands to, to push through to the knockout stages which is amazing uh, I think we did well we did really well against them Let's see now. Dortmund won against Basel with four goals to one too. So the goal difference is going to be pretty decent. Let's see the Champions League group now. Okay, so Lyon is ahead of us with same points. So it's nine point, nine point, and then Dortmund on eight points. And then we have Basel dead last, five losses. And we're playing Basel in the last game. So if we if we win it's all good if we draw then olympic leon will have to beat dortmund otherwise we will miss the knockout stage that's it's a horrible thing but that's how it could be we have to win next up we're playing crystal palace away we have a back-to-back -back draw now so it's you know they are sitting ninth in the league uh, I guess three points would be, you know, it would come in handy because we don't want to lose too much ground. We are sitting fifth now. We were third when this episode started and we've fallen down to, to fifth. So let's see if these boys can pull it together and, and, and win against Crystal Palace. It would, it will help us, definitely. Um, we don't want to lose against the teams above us but we don't want the teams behind us to catch us you know we have quite a few on our tail that is just chasing us um, so yeah let's go with our red and whitish uh, away kits they are so beautiful and we're playing as a pass in their red and blue stripes we're gonna go with our first team no injuries now you see Rikes is back on his right wing and everything is looking good so we got we got what it takes now to get the three points we know the, this boy's got it in them so let's go out there and let's win this one come on a lovely weather a warm welcome to selhurst park here in london my name is Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former arsenal and england fullback lee dixon and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace, and they face Oldham Athletic. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. And the contest begins. But it can't get all the way through. Sands end. Bolland. Nodded straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you... Surely! And the ball... Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Oh, big chance! It could be up for grabs. Challenge. Now let's see what they can do here. Goalkeeper should take charge. And a lot of options here. And the danger clear. Opportunity to take the lead. 
Oh, that's an up. He continues his run. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Townsend. Can he find the angle? And it's in! 1 0. They breached the defence. And he made for a simple finish in the end. The opening. And over comes the corner. Fine reaction from the keeper. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. He's got the right idea with that pass. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Late drama here. And no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Pedraza. Ezzi. And so the final whistle has sounded, and this game will go into the history books recorded as a draw. How about the visitors' performance on the whole, Lee? Well, they did get some reward in the end, Derek, didn't they? Plugging away for the full 90 minutes, at least salvage the point. It will feel like a win in that dressing room, I can tell you that. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, they say it's 90 minutes long. They remind you that when they're coaching you as kids. Play to the final whistle, and he did that, and he got his team the equaliser. We end up with our fourth draw in this episode. Uh, we have a one on game against uh, Crystal Palace when we equalized in, in the dying parts of, well, the end of the game, to be honest. Uh, we had five shots, we landed four. They had six shots, landed three. Um, they had a possession too. So they, they, you know. Well, it's a point. I'll take it. We didn't lose any game in this episode. We didn't win any game of this episode. We had four draws, which means. Yeah, not the best. A draw is not getting, you know, that's not really helping us a lot. It's good that we don't lose, but we don't really get the points we need. So we're down to sixth place now because we drew. And um, next episode, we just have to start winning. Uh, we can't draw. If we're going to keep on drawing, we're going to be a mid table team, as the board expects us to be. But we want to prove that we have what it takes to get uh, qualified to the new. European football that's that's our we, we have to right so that's it next episode is going to start with a tough game we're playing Manchester United home at the boundary park so I guess a draw there wouldn't be bad despite what I just been preaching about but yeah I'll take a draw in that game to be honest um, then we could probably start winning even if I win against Manchester United, I would walk on, you know, clouds. But, <clears throat> yeah, it's Manchester United. So, we'll see. I want to thank you guys for watching. This episode is now over. Uh, we had four draws. That's how it is. And I hope you enjoyed it still. Uh, leave a like. Uh, haven't, if you haven't subscribed, please do. That means a lot and it helps the channel. We're going for 1,000 subscribers. So, let's go there. Um, stay safe. Be kind to each other. And uh, till the next episode, boys, walk it.